Hi, welcome back to Art by Brooke. In today's video, I am continuing to use up my leftover paint and I wanted to go for something really metallic. I was inspired by my recent Gen Crafts paint pours. So I grabbed a bunch of my favorite colors in their metallic versions. I'm using black with purple, green, and blue. And this blue is almost gone, so I'm also using, there's just a little tiny bit left of this as well. And then for contrast, some golden brand titanium white. All of these are pre-mixed with Floetrol already because I use them in my 64, 65 colors paint pour. Now remember, these are older paints, so there could be some clumps as we go. I'll try to pull them out as I see them. I also prepped this canvas by painting some of the black down. I actually had more than I thought, so <laughs> covered almost the whole thing, but I got all the sides. Black tends to be really hard to do on a white canvas because it pulls thinner on the edges and then you see some white peeking through. I want to try a dirty cup pour where I just pour directly into the middle of the canvas. I guess it kind of is like a tree ring pour, but I'm just going to pour quickly. I want to try to get some cells, so I'm not sure if this will work, but I want to give it a test and see. I found a clump already, so hopefully that maybe is the one that won't get in the painting and maybe there won't be any more. I say without any real expectation. Also, I don't have my usual lights on because the black paint pores tend to be harder to focus on, especially if you have bright lights right on top of them. So I'm trying to get this filmed before I lose all of my natural light out from my window. Okay, I'm going to try to torch this before I tilt it, and then we'll just start tilting. Okay, all of my white seems to have disappeared. Um, I'm going to try to torch it and see if I can open up any more cells. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for a little while and then we will come back and take a closer look. Okay, so it has been probably 10 or 15 minutes and I wanted to show you this while we still have a little bit of light. I'm sorry about the glare, but I do think it would be a lot worse if I was using my extra lighting. So we've had a few little tiny cells pop up, and I think the purple became a little bit more noticeable, but it's still very dark. And from my experience, this is going to dry really, really dark. So I'm a little worried about that, but we'll just see. So I kind of want to go to the middle first because it's just super interesting. This is really cool. So this is where we get the really cool cells that I was really hoping to get through the whole thing. I think I just needed more white, but you can kind of see all the cool mixing of the colors. And then up here, you see those little tiny cells that have opened up. So you see some white peeking through, but I don't think it's enough 
to add contrast when it's really dry. And then this purple is so pretty, this purple and blue together. I really like that. And then down through here, you start to see some more green coming through the black. It's super neat. And that's the green color shift, so it kind of shifts to gold. And then here's where the purple kind of showed up more after it sat. That's really pretty, but it's showing up a lot brighter on the camera than it is in person. And then over here, this is really pretty as well. Again, it's darker in person, but I like this blue coming through here. I have to make sure I get more of that blue when I get more paint. Because now, as of this painting, I used it all up. Overall, I like this painting a lot, but I am worried that I may end up having to pour over it. If it's really, really dark, then I won't be able to use it. But maybe I could embellish it in some way. I haven't really embellished a lot of canvases, so what do you recommend? Do any of you embellish your canvases, and do you have like ideas for when your canvas is a little too dark or not contrasty enough? What do you think I should try on this? Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and click the bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.